we should be streaming yet again. Fuck off, Butch. You're not important enough for me to update you. We're gonna go on that stream manager grind. Yeah, once the soft's gaslighting me, saying I'm not streaming. I press the button, stream. You're doing the load. I know you're lying to me. Switch up, it's so reliable and not c fucked up at all. I love the foot trap, I love the foot trap. Alright, I got three viewers based. Alright, so my three viewers, I am gonna be relying on you to let me know if the stream gets fucky, cause my phone ain't strong enough to also watch the stream. And I don't have a second monitor, so. I have to put my faith of the recording in your hands, and if you're wondering why I'm staying still, it's because I'm busy making a drink and reorganizing my desk so I can enjoy my nachos while I play this game for y'all. Although I think I have one hell of a combination of food here. I got nachos, and then I also have fucking that fucking raspberry tea is. A weird combination, don't... Don't try me. Alright, so, last part. We accidentally wound up doing early this morning, because we got got by the game. Fuck off, Twitch. Was, uh, quite simple. Good old Basla got fucking captured, and, uh, as far as we can do... Yep, got captured by Darth Malak. She, uh, held him off so we could escape with the rest of the crew on the Ebon Hawk. And the only way we can think of can save her is uh find the rest of the Star Forge map and go all right. We got to go bippity boppity. I know I'm making incredible sense right now. I'm 10 out of 10 knowledgeable. Let's go talk to the homie. Let's go talk to the Homolorian. Hey, how do you feel about killing like this yeah, what do you in the want? battle? This thing with Jog, is there some? Working for Davik was like driving a spike through the side of your head. Sure, you got something new in there, but in the end, you've lost something as well. Beating up people who wouldn't or couldn't pay, strong arming his competitors, killing who he said. It was busy work, nothing decent. Assassin, mercenary, those are names people give guys like me who do the killing to make us seem better or worse in their eyes. I've killed many people. I can't say I'm proud of it, but I have. Criminals, competitors, businessmen, police, women, children. Jedi were a better challenge, but they hardly ever poked around in the Undercity. Until you came along. But I never wanted to challenge you. Never felt the need. Maybe I knew I couldn't win, just like all those years ago. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you probably would have beaten me again. Maybe you would have. But you're not who you were back then. I can tell. You've changed. And maybe I have to. I remember a time when I could do anything I wanted. Kill, maim, murder. It was all the same to me. But now, now that I am older, I can look back and regret. in a Mandalorian. I'm not even sure what that is anymore. The Mandalorian are gone, defeated by the Republic, and swept away by time. I look back and regret all the chances I had as a warrior, and then all the chances I've had since then. I, I shouldn't be getting like this. Not when so many other things are happening, but it feels like, like something has changed inside and I don't know what it is. Ah, this is unbecoming a warrior. Let's get on with everything before I start getting sentimental or something. Is there something else you want to know? He grew a conscience. Hey, don't worry. I, a real warrior. There anything? Your. Tr yeah, let's go talk to the homie HK. Statement: HK forty-seven is ready to serve, Master.
Statement. I know some elements of my functionality, Master, but not all. Observation. I am sure you are aware of the majority of my skills, Master. I can handle various sorts of heavy weaponry with ease. My physical abilities are well above those of your average meatbag, as are my sensor functions. An assassin, if you would. Caution, shh, Master. Such a function in a droid is highly illegal. Commentary. Good, for I would truly hate to be turned into spare scrap, Master. That would be a waste of my genius engineering. Answer. My assassination functions are currently non-functional, having been deactivated by the meatbag, Yukalaka on Tatooine. Were they functional, you as my master would be able to specify a target, and I would operate independently to the best of my ability to terminate it. Answer. Not that I know of, master. I still possess all my normal combat and stealth abilities, however. Answer. Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired, master. But anything in relation to my memory core is extremely sensitive. I have safeguards installed to protect that core that I cannot deactivate. It is not impossible that other, lesser memory functions could be restored, however. Answer. You may attempt to restore portions of my deleted memory, Master, but some skill at repair is required. The deeper functions of my core memory, however, would still be unadvisable to tamper with. Conjecture. It is possible that some external stimulus might result in the memory core being reactivated. Hmm. Observation. My... I... Alright, let's uh, head on out to the Sith planet. I like the old Mandalorian man, he's kind of cool. Huh? What is it? Alright, let's level you up first. Let's see, so you ain't got any disabled droids or anything like that. Uh, let's get you lightning skill awareness trade injury beats uh, let's see this feed well save blow I like that I can give her the ability to shoot basically give her some training and gun but let's Hit that improved power attack. Power, you're gonna upgrade your Lanamani. And you're gonna accept it. Base. <laughs> the base DeLorean. Got him. Uh, let's see, what's good for you? Good question, actually. I guess I'll just start you down the path of, uh, cybernetics. Yeah, let's hit that, uh, dexterity bonus, because, I mean, you're you. And uh, congratulations on the Jedi Knight robe. Yeah, congrats on an order and all that. And me. Yep, nope. nope, 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 nope. Okay. We did it. Uh, that's not a terminal we can hack into, apparently. No, no more. Hold on. Ikukuno no ba mulera tikun tong hit kun chunching ne boboje mata ne putnage dolpi kikyu ana runda di hotonga kun hankami 
Wanna kunbez ching palamule tunking ba nunotek tuk ning chutu Does everyone fucking know who I am? Takunjus tak miki grabble moko kachichu ita bodunga tunogang waleo ganda naru chuchut Polisha punga mola wana chikne Mule slimo puto da da nanga kumbis mule rabes. Ke puna puna na chatu chimba mule ratoana to chimba no kunik kavatupa ku peliano mama kata wanga kumbis kiabol mule a ka ching chana na wanga ba kon kavatupa ku pelian ponentea. He does seem to like the fact that I said he was part of the exchange. Tungumuchuba,ludanitakun,itapatisobatua,kachatutung,bangrashakuntichakumma,chubakaha,chopa,chawachuish,yunku,jodo,jidbungarantang,ludanitakun,kunhankabi,wanakundes,ching,palamule
I go to Yavin between the streams every now and again. What I got at uh, the Yavin store after I sold some stuff was uh, some droid armor. The force field that you s probably saw in part 8 if you were there for that. But HK has that like infinite shield for droids. And I managed to also get a few uh, infinite like flamethrowers and whatnot from him. What a massive fucking debt in my, you know, money, but when you have three light power armor battle suits to sell at 90% markup, you don't have to click the fee. <laughs> I should have got Force Persuade so much earlier, just fuck off and get the Force Power. Yo, prospective Sith students. No, that is the wrong answer. Again, you pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? Ola una chinek. Bamuli rat slimo anga kundis king. I'm no master yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question. A lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Do you do it? Oh, of course, Shardan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose you. No, no, no. Oh, do you honestly believe? The Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards. Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. Tunipudu! Rana nu prata dunk no sarcha ditua penki! No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy. The other students would tear you apart. No. Bah, I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should. Hmm. You, Jedi, you're looking to get in the academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. These hopefuls will never survive in the academy. A lesson must be taught here, but yeah, I'm, I'm a little lost as to what here. form it should take. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or, or perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. What do you think? Alright, so I'm going to take this moment of pause in order to, uh... Expand upon what I've been thinking about. I think Mission is the only female Twi'lek that is in a Slave Dancer's outfit in this game. One of two. There is the bodyguard in the uh, under, un, in the under city of the first planet. But besides those two, uh, what are you asking me, idiot? <coughs> Please tell him to let us go. I beg you. Silence. Why not ask you? I'm rather exhausted from dealing with hopefuls like these. I can barely think straight. Besides, I find it fun. Come now. The decision, please. You do? Hmm. Perhaps having a bunch of hopeful soiling themselves would be somewhat amusing. Let's see, shall we? I did it. I saved them without revealing that I'm a Jedi. Don't look at my clothing or my weapon. <laughs> Yo, is that a desk jockey? Let me go fuck it, just. Wallalo. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. A swoop fanatic. <laughs> Kino Molirani Lubo Tonkin Ba Loko Nexak Listen He drained their kidneys Nikawa Dubaka
What's our connection? This kind of soki, copa, bono, nakachu, labora, na winky, smack, toma, to yami, jusku, chita, nai, uchu, a penki, topa, na oto, bokasa, yubabato, kanchi, ya tuka, ulan, chiwi, aita, ka, chon, chicha, agi, inko, tune, chula, mori, ra, tangi, wama, jiko, na, tong, kipa, nonku, nek, abog, baba, hasan, shan, no ba muli rati lai kuka. Kuka kin cha na wa... Now that's one expensive pistol. But I don't think I'll be getting it. Granted, you know, stun and uh, plus three, but I only got like two people who use pistols. <laughs> good for a pistol but like I said I only have like two people that ever use pistols that's the little astromech and uh, the Republic pilot and I'd rather keep the Republic pilot with his own personal pistol because it does pretty good and the fucking vibe check pistol that he has in addition Citizens. Look here, my dear oh. friends. We have some newcomers to the colony, led by a Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen any of them before. Have you? I hate Jedi, and these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. You should turn around and move along, kid. You don't want the trouble we give you. <laughs> Smart mouth newcomers to boot. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lasho. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that, hmm? <coughs> Those are very brave words for such an insignificant person. Do you not realize how many Sith are here in Dreshde? Not enough to save your sorry self. Let me kill this one, Lasho. Let me do it. Now, now, let's not be hasty. Perhaps our friend here could yet offer up some amusement. <coughs> what do you say? Amuse us. Make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. So, uh... They're threatening me like, oh, you're on a planet full of Sith, you're going to get God if we say you're going to get God. Motherfucker, I tore through. Like, I tore through an entire Sith capital ship. And I soloed your fucking boss. Alright, if it wasn't for a game script, he would have been dead. Alright, like... You think I'm not gonna go through an entire planet full of Sith cutting y'all down like the little pieces of shit you are? You know how many fuckers have you got killed? Are those before I realized I was Revan? Yeah. If you really want to fight, make the first move, cunt. What? <laughs> I think someone just stood up to you, Lasho. Shut up, fool, unless you want to be next. Yeah? Anytime. Stop it. This is boring. Let's just go back to the academy. Fine, we'll go. As for you, I'll find you later. Trust me on that. Shut up, whore. God, I hate women. We're <laughs> having the sexist. <laughs> you 
Yeah, what's up, representative? You've heard of that awful business on Idean, yes? Our corporate outpost there has been destroyed by the Wookiee savages. This could put back the use of Wookiee labor considerably. We may even have to abandon the planet completely. Ah, well, what can you do? Sorry, was there something you needed? Uh, yeah, what are you doing here? We do some mining here, and are responsible for local shipping and support of the Sith on Korriban. Our starport is mostly just freighters and such, but we do get many travelers that come here to learn from the Sith. This office is actually our administrative headquarters for this region. Rather inauspicious, isn't it? We offer good prices here to those traders that keep the colony supplied. If you're in need of anything, this is the place to come. You certainly can. Allow me to punch up our stock. Hmm, that's some good, uh, hits right here. Security spike tunnelers, do 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 do. Security spikes, do 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 do. X Bar Coons light battle suit. 6k. Defensive bonus 9, dexterity bonus 3, or max. Mm. Oh, so I'm sad that you can't wear a. Brandon's armor and use force powers. You think you would have been able to, considering, you know, Jedi armor and all that, but no. It cucks you. I'm a little pissed about that. Reinforced fiber armor, war suit, light, military heavy. <laughs> Alright, so the holy battle suit. 1k more expensive, but has resist, cold, fire, sonic. Huh. Interesting. I think uh, my Mandalorian and friends have better armor, but still, it's a uh, scratches chin moment. Heavy targeting optics. I mean, this would be... This would have been great, like, early on in the game, but I don't really have a need for it now, because I kind of already have the traits for my gun people that I need. <laughs> Andrew Shield, Stealth. I don't know how to use Stealth in this game. I'm a little retarded. I never figured that out. Sith regeneration, that's 8.5k, but regeneration 2, hmm. No, we are gonna buy that, and that's either gonna go to the Republic Pilot or the Mandalorian, whoever hits implant level 3 first. That's... That's a good piece of, uh, regeneration. You need to have points in stealth skill, stealth and then it puts you in solo mode when you start using stuff. Oh. That seems dumb and convoluted, if you ask me. Okay, can there just be a button like over at the bottom right here? Just be like, hey, ba 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 da ba da ba da. Yo! Yep. And Overwatch. Davik's dead. Mm. How much is it worth to you, idiot? Red 47. Red 47. Hi! Alright, fuck you. That was funnier in my head, and now I said out loud I don't like it anymore. <laughs> uh, I think this is the Rodian I want to talk to for the shop. Nope, fuck off. 
He says you have special items. I can read the sense so much faster than the alien could say it. Alright, so we got that life support pack. Very nice. Eh, uh, burping fiber mesh, that. 1500 for this armor suit. Max bonus, temp defense, no dexterity bonus, cold resist, fire resist, sonic resist, upgradable armor, so you can make it higher resistance, that's nice. Hmm. Thermal detonators. Now those are good. I like these. They're nice. They're expensive, but they're nice. Stabilizer mask, that's what I have. Interface visor. Strength plus five. Shields. Saves all plus four and dexterity. Yeah, that's pretty good. Constitution four at fifteen K. That's actually a good implant, but still <laughs> my money. Dexterity four, yeah, that's good. Regeneration. I already got regeneration too, actually, so yeah, I kind of don't need it. But what I will do is buy these weapon upgrades. Well, the gun ones at the very least. Huh. So you are definitely someone to talk to. When I uh, get a fuck ton of money again, ah, oh, can't trip. No, oh! I can't travel back. So shout out to the Ebon Hawk looking like the retarded cousin of the Millennium Falcon. Alright. Let's have a look around. Let's try to find that space. Are you space? No, you're not space. See, this should be the engine. So maybe supplies. Problem. Didn't work. Red, yeah, forty-seven. It's fast. All right, let's go talk to that Rodian and uh. Add on to the Dark Lord's repertoire of uh, drug smuggling onto his list. Let's go!
I would absolutely be a rat bastard if I had like force powers, like especially like the mind manipulate one. Where I just wave my hand and make them kinda do what I want. Unless they're too strong of will. I would absolutely be like, oh so you're like a drug dealer, right? And you do really well? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, why? Force power, give me all your money. <laughs> it's mine now. <laughs> Do you have the spice human? Yes. I want more. Maybe. Make a 3k. Okay. <laughs> Drug dealing, baby. Yeah, now I'm kind of conflicted. Do I go do all the other side quests of come for the other planets, like go kill these people and deliver the drugs now, or do I complete this planet by finding the star map and then go do all that stuff? Puts fingers together. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you know, nice little box, idiot. Yo, look at those Sith students. Oh, I'm just straight walking. I'll talk to uh, Mikkel. What a be? Leave me be. Isn't that obvious? You must be very sharp to possess such an ast- Good. You are neither a Sith, nor do you bear the medallion of a- Let me I have been conditioned to resist mental- Oh. <laughs> okay! Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Understandable. How <laughs> dare <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, what's this medallion? It is the device given to one who has been accepted into the academy, but has not yet proved their worth as a student. If one of the Sith decides you are worthy, you will be given one, which you must then take to Yathora Ban, who I believe is in the cantina. It is she who decides which hopefuls enter the academy. You must be admitted to the Academy. That decision must... The final decision, however, remains with Master Yu... You know, uh... I don't think I was going by the Darth Revan line. Something you need, Jedi. Make it good for I have little patience. Alright, three toilets that aren't in slave garb. You got mission, this one, and that bodyguard from the first planet. You are far from the first Jedi who has come here after all, willing to abandon that decrepit order of yours. I am sure there are plenty of others who would answer your questions. I am quite who am I? You must not have been in Korriban for very long. Either that or you have been feeling your way about blindly. Luckily for you, I am in a charitable mood. I am Yathuraban, second only to Master Uthar of the Sith Academy here in Dresde. 
I am the one who decides which of the few of the many hopefuls who travel here to train actually become a Sith. Why? Is it your desire to enter the Academy? Is that why you are here? Ah, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? There is something odd about you that I cannot place. Obviously, you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. So were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? Yeah. As I thought, how interesting that they would let one with such power out of their grasp. Or are you here to spy on us? For all the good it would do. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps, if I let you. Does that interest you? <laughs> I could try my luck. I will try my luck. You want me in there? <laughs> you must not think much of Sith Masters to try that little trick. I won't hold it against you, however. It shows initiative. But I do desire a real answer to my question. Ah, good. Yes. Exactly the sort of answer I was hoping for. I will take you to the Academy, and we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question. These companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume? I... yes. Yes. We are only servants to the... the Master. There's something odd about this servant of yours. No matter. Make sure they don't disturb your training or cause trouble. You are responsible for them. Now, are you ready to go to the Academy? Then let us leave. The Master of the Academy awaits you. Imagine if the Force Persuasion actually worked, though. <laughs> I mean, it sort of Greetings, did, but still. Greetings, prospective students. It appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling with the Force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. I met this one in the colony. Unworthy, if you ask me. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human, what do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? A diplomatic answer, if not the core of the matter. Our power is obvious. The question in truth goes much deeper than the surface. The Jedi equate the light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. That is their tradition, and it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi say we should not. We are as the Force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. They would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy. All so that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true potential. It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasho? Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash and fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. What of you, Meikle? Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. I sense much anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? I kind of wish there was an option just to fucking force lightning the other three students be like, am I ready? <laughs> yes, I just killed them. Fuck you. Are you? I can see into your heart, young human, and I see the dark kernel that is there. If it is ready to sprout, remains to be seen. Now then, 
All of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you, however, will succeed. The one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year and try again, if you survive. My pupil, Euthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth, <coughs> gain enough prestige to be selected. What is an act of worth? You must learn that for yourselves. Remember that you are competitors here. Fight for your destiny, or go home. If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the first of you to learn the code of the Sith and tell me of it will be rewarded. The rest is for you to discover. Welcome to the dark side, mm. my children. Code of the Sith. Your one chance at true greatness do, lies do, here. Google. <laughs> I have the power of phone, idiot. Wait, hold on, I need to blend in though that I'm evil. All right, let's fucking Molly Rock. Yo, what up, Ah, oh, there you are, my favorite prospect for the year. Absolutely. By my estimation, you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the Sith than any of the others. As a matter of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. Would you like to hear it? Good. I do so adore someone who's willing to take a chance. As I said, you're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Once that occurs, he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords to the tomb of Nagasado to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to, shall we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's leadership? The tomb is an ancient ruin on the surface that was visited years ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. Reaching that map, as they did, is part of the final test. At any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone is what is important. Is that such a daunting prospect? It is not as if I am asking you to perform the task alone, or as if you will get nothing out of it. Master Uthar cannot prevail against us both. That's all there is to it. It is a very simple matter. I'm so glad you see it my way. I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't disappoint me. Uh, how do I get more prestige? You must impress Master Uthar. Go to him with news of your deeds, or artifacts you have discovered. The first and easiest way would be for you to learn the code of the Sith and speak it to him. I can teach you that, if you like. Shall I go on? There are a group of students who refused an order by Master Uthar to execute a group of civilians in the colony. Uthar declared that they were to be executed themselves, but the students escaped and fled before the order could be carried out. We are certain that they have not left Korriban. No doubt they have not gotten far and are simply in hiding. We just do not know where, exactly. If you were to locate them and carry out Uthar's order, I am sure he would be most appreciative. Shall I go on? I would suggest you talk to the other prospective Sith and find one you can gain an advantage with. I believe Lasho would be an excellent choice. She is too trusting. I have little doubt you could talk her into letting you help her somehow. Just make sure it is you who gains the advantage, not her. Be ruthless if you must. 
That is the only thing that will impress Uthar. The only other idea I can suggest to you is that you head into the Valley of the Dark Lords on the surface. There are ancient ruins there which can be explored. It's possible you might find some artifacts or information in them which would please Uthar. It's difficult to say for certain. Right. Tell me the coat. I can help you understand it. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The force shall free me. Simple words, yet easily mis... I am not surprised. You have had an... All right. Teacher! 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 <laughs> Where the fuck are you? I'm, I'm a lost little scared boy. Yo, footlocker. Hey, yeah. Ha, idiot. I stole your guns. <laughs> They gave me a fucking map. Well, well, well. If it isn't Horrorella, I'll come back for you later in a second. Right now, I'm trying to steal everything I can from the Sith Academy, because fuck them. Alright, you. you. I remember you from the colony. I can't believe you actually made it into the academy. Are you trying to become a Sith as well? Just figure that out, did you? <laughs> it just so happens that I have a surefire way of pulling ahead in this little contest of ours. You don't really have a chance. Perhaps we can work together? Hmm. I suppose I could use some help. The artifact I know of certainly won't be easy to take. But why should I work with you? Yes, I do want to work with you. I suppose it's possible that Master Uthar could award both of us prestige. We'd be ahead of the others for sure. Unfortunately, the Holocron lies in the gullet of a Tukata mother. I can arrange for us to meet her, but you're going to have to help me in putting her down. That makes sense to you? Go into the valley when you're prepared enough. I'll Remember, the central pillars in the valley. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you there. How stupid are you? <laughs> Yo, it's the teach. Why can't I evade your footlocker? Yeah, I should have brought my droids with me on this mission. Oh, them dope. Hey, Uthar, you know, I got that Sith code Greetings, on the man. Young one. You have much to do yet. You have gained. I know the code of the Sith. Then finish the code as I speak it. Peace is a lie. That is only. A oh, passion, eh? Through passion, I gain. Through strength, I gain. Through power, I gain. Through victory. The force shall free me. Yes, good. You have indeed learned the code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing the words are, however, two different things. Tell me then, true or false, victory by any means is desirable. Yes. False. 
Ah! This victory proves your superiority. Sadly, it seems... Indeed. I try a stereotypical the Sith and I got fucked on. Greetings. Then fin peace. Passion. Strength. Through strength. Through strength I gain power. Through. Power I gain victory. Through victory. My chains are broken. Yeah, tell me. Ah oh, shit, he changed the question up on me. Shit! <laughs> True or false, the passion that fuels the force. Well done. I will test you no more. You know the code. Very impressive. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me. Very well. Haha, <laughs> we did it. Okay, well, now we're at the places. Sith student, Sith student, Sith student, Sith guard. Sith retards, Lamal, give me your stuff. I could take this entire academy easy. <laughs> and I don't mean in a fight. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Idiots. They didn't realize that Revan was a kleptomaniac. <laughs> to the valley. I've decided I want the droid homies instead. They're cooler. Ready. Fucking 32 protection, you overpowered fuck. Shield disruptor. Advanced computer tool. Yep. Targeting acquired focus. Yeah, we'll just do that. Oh, the little, little guy absolutely has levels to use. I'm just doing his uh, shenanigans first. Give you that, because you both should. Yep. Uh, you know, little guy. 50% chance to stun with that little assassin pistol. Hell yeah. Little man's got a gat. Yo, feet, got him. I love feet. Yo, know, feet, I love them. Give them to me. Give you that two up in fighting training. Just because I'm going to have you dual wield like the cretin you are. Oh, 
Oh yeah, more dexterity. Gearhead, skill. Okay, we'll do that a little bit. Joy class three. Computer, repair, security. Yep, don't care. Then ask, plus your mom. Sucks me long and hard through my Jordans. Uh, fuck it. Do that one up. <laughs> Little guy fully upgraded. He is ready to murder. <laughs> yes? Alright, let's go find that uh, idiot and kill her for the Sith Holocron. My god, it's a raptor! Anyways. I like the Now, if I remember correctly from my playthrough quite a few years ago, I think the hiding students are in this fucked up cave. So I'm gonna go find them and be like, oh, but, 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 but. Oh, there's a dead trooper. Huh. Dead trooper. Oh, okay, I was gonna walk by, but I guess I don't have a choice in this matter. Protect yourself, droids. What? <laughs> Level up. Girl. <laughs> Little dexterity lad. creatures they are. Campfire. Dead Sith. Hmm. Sith of money. <laughs> but there are further things to investigate Mike was asking. Like the fact there's more corpses. This is certified for a moment. Now, don't you be hitting me with that dollar store fucking... Hold it right there, whoever you are. We're not going back to the academy. We'll kill you rather than go back. Hey, go back? What are you talking about? You mean you aren't here to kill us or bring us back? I find that hard to believe. The only way into these caves is through the academy. You must be a Sith. 
So what is it then? If you're not here to kill us or bring us back. So you have heard about us. Yes, we ran away before Master Uthar could execute us. Is that so hard to believe? My name is Thalian May. The others here and myself refused to murder a bunch of people on a whim from Master Uthar. So here we are. We thought that becoming a Sith was what we always wanted, but that wasn't true. Now all we want is to get out of here. Fair enough? Help us? Why should I believe that this isn't some kind of trick? No. I know what Sith like you want from us. They're here to kill us! Stun and blast, you annihilate that man. Sure. Oh, yeah. Can't believe she was beating up my little guy. Poor little homie. That way I don't pick up on my own microphone with my own stream. I will now sacrifice my phone to make sure there's no stuttering of the uh, game, hopefully. It's not exact science, but you know. Bitch. In the words of my forefather, double bitch. Let's keep exploring this cave, who knows? Might be something cool. <laughs> Yo, know, like a fucking dog, that's gonna kill me. Oh, never mind, I just immediately force choked it. Oh, he didn't. He didn't care about the second choke. <laughs> Bad dog goat. Call that creature dog and a goat. Oh dear god, there's a lot of you. Activate your shields. Yes. Whoa, he pushed it upon you. Y'all ever come cuss with a fucking conclave of goats and then wonder why the goats are concussed? That's what a Ford F-150 will do. <laughs> yeah. Have a grenade, idiot. Oh, my God. 
You leave my little homies alone. They're just funny little guys. Oh, thank you for the plasma grenade. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, let's loop back around and, uh, yeah. Dumb little bat creatures and dumb little goat dog creatures. What are these sound effects for the caves? <laughs> Dump. I'm sorry, what'd you get there? Across the brit I see. Oh, Can't hit what ain't this. Dip ass. You fool, I can level up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure playing Soldier was like the worst move I've did though of this entire get playthrough. Yo, four storm. I am now the ultimate fingy man. Fast. Ah, does replenish my uh, force points though when I level up. Boo. Well, uh, scuff those big guys. Uh, got their shit ran. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> Looks like it didn't matter. Oh, I'm not light side enough. No, I'm gray. <laughs> no. <laughs> what were those? Uh. Defense bonus plus five, dexterity bonus. Woo! Damn, if that wasn't a good robe that I can't get because of fucking religious difference. Cassis. Da 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 da. Yeah, pretty sure it was. Nah, who cares? It's a data pad, it won't come up ever again. Pretty sure that's an exit over there, so let's you know run to the other side here, see what else we can find. You know. Fuck it we ball type shit. 
I got droids, so you know that's pretty cool. Okay, literally, uh, in game warning of churn back, idiot. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. Well, too bad I'm too much of a <laughs> bad boy. I say while well, I am absolutely morally gray. <laughs> Listen, I am what all Jedi should always strive to be. Always gray. Not too strong light, not too strong dark. If you can make a quick buck by killing somebody, do it. That's all I'm saying. HK! Yo, we got Sith guards. Yo, oh, Sith guards and archaeology. Oh, the ultimate Sith practice. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, probably should talk to you. What's up? Greetings. I don't think I've seen you at the academy before. Here to investigate the ruins. Uh, yeah. Can you tell me about them? Well, it seems that the Sith once inhabited Korriban a long time ago. There was a fortress here that was destroyed at some point before the Sith abandoned the planet completely. Why they left, we don't know. Perhaps the Jedi drove them off. The tombs in this valley are the only parts of the fortress we found mostly intact. Some. Most of the interesting stuff is still in the tombs, but Master Uthar prefers to leave them to be explored by the students as a challenge. In time, they will probably become safe enough for us to enter. Until that time, however, we're stuck to digging up the valley piece by piece. Definitely dangerous. Most of the students that go inside them don't come back out. Master Uthar prefers it that way. All right, just be careful if you head into any of those tombs. Was I supposed to meet some woman here? Oh, there she is. There you are, finally. If you were any later in showing up, we would have had to abandon this. I've been calling to the Takata mother in their language. She should respond fairly. Ah, here she comes now. Oh, it's just a doggy. Get ready. This will not be easy. She's a tough beast. Yeah, well, I'm racist. Wonderful. <laughs> and here is the holocron. Such a small thing to be so valuable and require so much effort to obtain. I'll just run along now and give this to Master Uthar. I'll be sure. You're not getting the holocron. This was my idea. The plan was that I take it back, not you. Heard the holocron's mine, cunt. Over my dead body. Why? What a wonderful suggestion. Hey. Uh. Okay. Wow. 
Yeah, that was a new kind of pause. That one uh, even shooketh me. Alright, let's head back home. <laughs> On the road again! <laughs> Can you really just enter any of these temples, or is it just like the one temple, that's it? Oh no, there are multiple temples, alright. Oh, we're gonna have to go, uh, Spelunkin. Yeah, I didn't even hit space or anything that caused that pause either, that was just weird. Hence why there was like a few seconds of me just going, uh... Yeah, probably. Uh, let's just churn in what we got now, though. Good. I like the two ally system thing that they got going on, but at the same time, I wish I could bring more of the homies in. <laughs> I want to hear them all interact with each other. Let's go talk to the teacher and go, yo, uh, you're down a student. Greetings, young one. I have found you to be most impressive. You are off to an excellent beginning. I have dealt with those renegade students. Ah, the ones I ordered executed for their mutiny. It's done then. Yep. Indeed. I had the caverns checked after you left. Well done. The lesson is learned, I believe. Go now. You have done well. Have a holocron. <laughs> I had heard that such an artifact existed. Tell me, young one, did you acquire the device by yourself? Nope. So I see. And Lasho, does she yet live? No. <laughs> well done. You gained an artifact through trickery, and eliminated an opponent at the same time. That is deserving of great prestige. Go now, you have done what- You have gained considerable prestige. Cool. Anyways, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go loot your temples. Idiot. <laughs> but first... Watch out, watch out. Also, you know, he kind of did make a point about the Jedi coping of no, the, 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 the dark side's too easy, you can't do it, no. It's like, yeah, I do want to electrocute like 16 people at once with lightning fingers. I Means less chance of me getting fucking annihilated by bolter fire. Or not bolter, sorry, that's 40k. By laser fire. Oh, this is a brand new type of pause. Ah! Alright, we're going to quick save because I'm scared. Help! <laughs> yeah. Well, let's just go tomb raiding, fuck it. What's the worst that can happen? There is no help, there is only pause. Ah, yes, the code of the Grey Jedi. <laughs> Yo, it's a droid! Hello! You to activate your infinite shields. I may have to rely on you. What? I'm 
have any choice, aren't they? Pretty fucking cool and fun, but still. Pet droid. Too much audio input. Audio systems overloading. Must destroy source of disturbance. Must kill sentience. Oh no. Anyways. What is going on with my game? Shit, didn't read what I got. Sure. <laughs> well, let's see if we can piece together what I managed to get. Well, I don't think it was a weapon. Maybe it was a shield. Oh, okay. Restricted to dark side. And you need Jedi defense. This gives you... Hmm. Breath mass. Circlet. No, oh, that's restricted to the light side. What the fuck? I've been discriminated against for the fact that I'm superior.
Anyways, let's a bounce. Bounce on your homie's dick. Aha. G -g got him. Oh, those gloves and something, who cares? Yo, corpse, my favorite. Data recorder, da da da. To the vault. To the valley. Oh, this case. No. Party selection. Get out of here. Get out of here. Well, that leads to me bags. Yes. Mainly so this can happen. Uh, she's not very good at the four seal. Damn exterminate. Powers, you're gonna learn force wave. Dexterity. Level two implant, why not? Let's see, plus one dexterity. And we only mind affecting, we only critical hits, and where is plus one? Hmm. I'll give you that one. Will plus three awareness. Yeah, who kind of cares about that? No, I'll see. Stealth eight awareness. Security awareness four. Immunity poison. Immunity crit hits. Awareness demolition. Let's see awareness four. Damn. Now we'll keep you with that. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, castle's fed, apparently. God damn. No, yeah, we'll give him the castle's fed, why not? Yo, here's the pink Mandalorian. Do do! Sure. Your wish? Oh, let's see if he can wear it. Hell yeah. Well, at least somebody can wear it. Yes? Alright. Yeah, I'm really glad they're not questioning why I'm not in, like, Sith uniform or anything like that. They're just letting me exist. Like, oh, yep. This is, uh, perfectly acceptable. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, nothing wrong here? Nope. No, 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 no. Yo, box. Give me your secrets. I don't want to go to that one yet, then. I think... Naga said that was the uh, last tomb where you go to see the uh, funny man. And then kill him. Tulek Horde. You embarrass me, Catwoman. <laughs> Yo, flash mine. Uh, more like blows up in my face. Aha. Alright, get out there, droid. Oh.
Yeah, get an attack range of the doggy. Oh, I can't throw a concussion at him. Places to explore. And in this video essay. You will fall! Oh. Oh. went wub wub. Didn't work. Nope. Try again. Nice pause. I'm getting fearful by the day. Nice computer probe. Anyways, let's uh, bounce. Oh, little dog! literally stood back up just to get cut down again. That's respectable, but also dumb as shit, my guy. System online. System status pending. Continue. Open door. Mandalorian battle armor and a prototype ion blaster. Ah, uh, noxious fumes. <laughs> Another idiotic student has stumbled into my little web, eh? The contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> well. Awake already, are you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horde, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. It's dusty and full of critters, but it's home. Who? Oh, yes. Introductions, of course. I suppose it is time, isn't it? This other student here that I captured earlier, you should know well enough. His name is Miko. Say hello, Miko. <coughs> Poor lad. He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Earl. I was once the head of the academy, so I'm sure you've heard of me. Nope. No? Blast it. What have they been teaching you children in that academy these days? Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see, I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned Sith. Most of the Drek Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him, didn't I, Miko? Uh, I... Uh... Yeah. Yes, you're welcome. You see, Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith, but not the gumption that I'm looking for. Why then you go free? Tell you what, 
I'll even pass on to you my own personal thesis on ancient Sith philosophy. They're based on all I've learned studying Tulax too. They'll make you a better Sith, I'm sure. The chances of you passing, however, are sadly remote. Now, now, is that any kind of attitude to take with higher education? I'm doing you a favor, really. So then, this is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right, and I torture Miko. Get it wrong, and I torture you. Miko here is a bit weak. He probably won't be able to take much more punishment. Mind you, get too many wrong, and you'll die. I don't know what you think of Miko. Maybe you don't like him. Maybe you think he deserves to be murdered. Well, here's your chance, fair enough? Then you win. If you die, then he wins. I thought this was self-evident. Did you not grasp the concept earlier? Well then, any last comments before we begin, Miko? We could both survive. Attack him together. Now, now, dear lad. Do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little you? Risking their own life? And how many correctly answered questions before you die? Hmm? No, don't be silly. You had your chance, remember? On that note, let's begin. Now then, your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. What do you do? Correct! He was a fool to let down his guard. You will not make the same mistake, and the Sith as a whole benefit. You see, Miko, it's not so difficult. Time for your punishment. And so we come to round two. You come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They plead for help, offering you a reward. What do you do? So you've made a profit, and now you have some sniveling, useless fools trading after you. No, 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 no! Bad idea! Bad idea! At any rate, here is your punishment. Let's see. Ah, yes. You discover an aspect of the Force that gives you great power. Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole? Or keep it to yourself? Correct! Let them rip the secret from your cold, dead hands if they are strong enough. Oh, certainly you might share it with a few selected minions, but that, of course, is a completely different story. <laughs> well, it's sad to say, but it's that time again, Miko. Still going? All right, then. One of your underlings has made a major mistake which makes you look bad. He's normally very competent and skilled. Do you kill him, or give him another chance? Yo, the pause returns. Another chance to make you look poor to your superiors? To make it look like you are weak? And deserving of attack? No, 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 no. Think again. Hmm. This is what the stream must feel like after a uh, cutscene. <laughs> Why is the game just going hard on that fucking freeze?
Last question. You're about to die. Do you pass on your knowledge to your apprentice to make him stronger? Or do you use your last breath to strike at your enemies? The stream actually is frozen this time. It's hilarious. Oh, good. OBS is not responding. That's, uh... Hmm. As the kids would say, ba 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 Yeah, so if the stream does cut off, that's probably because, uh... Either OBS just randomly fucking dies, or my graphics card finally kicks the bucket. One of the two. And now I gotta try to tap back in. Wow, this is deja vu. I don't like this at all. Darkness. I have... pass on my knowledge. It's a trick question. A true Sith never dies. <laughs> I'll enjoy this one. Time for your medicine. <laughs> now, this is odd. The test is over and you're both still alive. Well, that's never happened before. What to do? What to do? I suppose this means you can go, Miko. We'll have to just figure out what to do with our friend here. Run along now. Or well, I could use the Force to free them. And we could kill you. Seems you didn't think of that, old man. What? Mutiny! Behave, students! I'll... That's it! Detention for all of you! Permanent detention! Face little Sith man. <laughs> Ah, look at that! I guess he wasn't a true Sith after all. I can't believe that I'm alive. You saved me. You could have easily just Hell answered yeah, those exactly. questions and let me die. Uh, nobody deserved to die like that. Yes. <sighs> well, I see what you mean. I've never... I mean, I've never been on that side of the fence before. It makes you think. I guess there's more than one way to be a Sith. Hard to believe. Well, you can have those writings he mentioned. I won't fight you for them. Master Uthar will be very pleased if you give them to him, you know. I'll head back to the academy. I need some rest. Tulak Mask. Restrict to the dark side, stealth, and fire. Okay. I see you were the Saturday cartoon villain. Damn, the store got hands. Yeah. 
Yeah, like I was telling Exiled King last night, I believe. I... On my old playtime, I'm probably going to be doing uh, Dark Side of Knights of the Old Republic 1. Though, the sequel, I'm definitely going to be streaming an evil playthrough of that, even if the NPCs make me feel bad. Dumb little droid up there, he's fucking ballin'. Alright. And I think I can just run across and. Th no, 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 no. I think it crosses Naga. So this one over here should be another lootable tomb that isn't buckied. Yo, nice box. Oh, hell yeah, that's based of shit. <laughs> Don't worry, I defused the mine. House, we gotta teach you this lesson, goat dog. <laughs> Demolition sensor part data pad. Guess what? Heal. <laughs> this is like that one meme that Scuff posted in my Discord. Revan can defuse mines, however, he cannot detect them. <laughs> Yo, nice arm. Well, I'm sure nothing bad will happen if I run across. Interesting. Ah, fuck, it's doing a goofer again? Ah, shit, ah, fuck. Well, you didn't miss anything. Eh, I know it'll be froze. It just takes a second for OBS to catch up with reality. Goes, oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there goes gravity. Da, 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 da. Got so many data pads. Da, 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 da. Oh. I don't want to give a grenade.
Lamau. Oh. Everyone turn on your shields. Excellent, I love it when OBS is working with me. Right. Gotta wait for the stream on my end to catch up before I unpause. But basically, uh, we're looking at assault droids going, what is your malfunction? Oh, there we go. What? Also, they defied me, so you know, I kind of took it personal. Sith Sarcophagus. Vibro Sword, Silver Lion Sword, and a Notched Steel Sword. Hmm. Interesting. Yo, nice statue, homie. Too long. Too long in the cold and the dark. I am disturbed again. Oh, a human. Beware of this. This spirit. It may not be what it appears. Great emotion lies within. A Jedi here? Why have you come to this dark place, Jedi? Why disturb my sleepless rest? I was here once before, I think. I do. And yet I do not. The Force is so strong with you, human. Yet the face, the soul... Oh, it has been so very long. I had a name once. Ajunta Paul. Yes, that was my name. I was one of many. We were servants of the dark side. Sith Lords, we called ourselves. So proud. In the end, we were not so proud. We hid. Hid from those we had betrayed. We fell, and I knew it would be so. Has it been so long that you use the word ancient? I have been here so long, so lost. I cannot, cannot remember. We were the first, the first to rebel, to betray, to surrender ourselves to the dark side. So strong, we thought. So wrong. All right, have fun, Exalt King. Only in the bathroom part, though. You have an awful time in Kotar, too. Just have an awful time there. 
Our Jedi Masters. Those who had taught us to use the Force. Who warned us against the dark side. Yet we embraced it in secret. Reveled in its power. We were... Discovered? Or did we act? I can no longer remember. But here is where we came. To hide. To grow. And here we fell. Remain? Do I remain? I have regretted for so long all that I have done. My sword, I filled it with my pride, and it is buried with me now. A corpse as I am a corpse. I am dead as my faith is dead, and I shall remain here, surrounded by blackness in death as in life. Most of my brethren would desire only to take what power I have left, even if it would destroy them. I wish my sword to be taken away from here. I do not wish it to rot away as I have. I command this of you. If, if you are wise, you will not keep it in the end. It is what destroyed me. There are three blades within my sarcophagus. Only one is truly my soul. But it has been so long. I do not remember which. Find the soul that is mine and place it on the statue. If it is truly mine, then it is yours. Yeah, the sword is yours? Then you must die. This is how it must be. I do remember one thing of my soul. Listen to me carefully. I am that which grips the heart in fright. Harkens night and silences the light. It was written of my sword long, long ago. Go then, find my sword and place it on the statue. like a silver sword. Well, that's why a quick save, quick load, I guess. Silver. Nice corpse. Let me rifle your pocket. Hell yeah. Pocket acquired. No, that is not the one. My ancient sword is black as the night sky. I remember now. I... I'm sorry. Oh yeah? Now if I do this? Ha, idiot. I have the power of time travel! Oh. 
Yes, that is the one. That is the blade that destroyed me. Take it. Take it and the other blades even. Take them and go. My darkness awaits me. Our oldest secret is buried, but not here. I remember nothing else. I cannot help you. I shall not tell you. Our oldest secret, I shall not be gone. Never. I shall destroy you first. Die here. Remain forever with me. Oh yeah, not if I... <laughs> Lost your sword. That's right. The power of time travel is to be abused, dickhead. Ow. I... Then feel. Oh. Okay, I guess I should get dark points for uh, telling them to fuck off anyways. Piss off, ghost. Wow, I'm becoming real true neutral. Mm. But now if I do this, <laughs> I don't want dark side points. This is supposedly me like light playthrough, so we'll just put that there, and then we'll move on with our day. Yes, take it. Be at. Hey, goodbye. Yes. Actually, silver line sword. Too bad it doesn't have, uh, <coughs> fuck, it's killing me. Hmm. Too bad the silver sword doesn't have, uh, like a fire stat. Well, she's way what? better with lightsabers anyway, so. Oh, so you want to fuck around? I saw you come in here, and I rather figured you'd make it all the way to the sarcophagus. Good to see I wasn't wrong. What do you Isn't want? Isn't it obvious? I've been hoping that someone would do the dirty work in retrieving the sword of Ajunta Paul for some time. It's been quite a wait. Now that you have it, I just thought I'd relieve you of it. It must be quite a burden after all. What are you talking about? Nice try. I may not know what the sword... I may like you well enough, but being a Sith is all about taking chances when the moment is right. So make it easier on both of us. Hand over the sword. Isn't it obvious? You die. Rule of the Sith, only the strong and cunning shall survive. You won't be missed, trust me. Now hand it over. Fine. No tricks, though. I'm watching you. See? I knew you and I could work this out. I imagine I'll be rewarded well for this. You'll do fine, I'm sure. Another time. You buffoon! Back again? Dak? 
That is you, isn't it? I, I, I hardly recognized you. It's been a long time, Jahani. What are you doing here? Did you fall to the dark side? I didn't fall, Jahani. I had my eyes opened. And don't look at me like that. Last I recall, you were having your own doubts. I was. I'm not anymore. Dak, you could... Save it. The Jedi aren't for me. Not anymore. Look, I'm not going to ask why a couple of Jedi are here in the Valley of the Dark Lords. I don't want to know. It's better that I don't. In fact, I'll just get out of here and leave you to whatever it is you're planning to do. Fair enough? Running away? Again? Why not? It's what I do best. Yes. Isn't it obvious? I don't want to talk about it here, however. I don't think there's much to talk about. Have it your way, Jahani. You always do. Look, I don't want to be here after you leave. There'll be too many questions, so ask what you have to ask and I'll be on my way. So do I. Goodbye, Dak. And thank you. Goodbye, Jahani. The fuck was that? How can you possibly be Raven? The one, the Jedi whose troops saved me on Taras. It was Revan, leading an army out to defeat the Mandalorians. It was you. I knew when I heard that you had become the Dark Lord of the Sith, that something was wrong with it. The man who saved me could never go completely to the dark side. It is good to know that you have truly changed. It gives me hope. I do not think now that I will fall to the dark side. I only have to look at you and follow by your example, and there is no way I can fail. Yo, <laughs> hold on, follow my example and there's no way you'll fall. Motherfucker, I am walking a tight rope. And brother, there's grease on that rope. <laughs> yes, that is true. I suppose you would know better than I. I will never forget what you did for me, even if you do not remember it. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? Wonder if we could talk. What is it you? Yeah, let's talk about that guy we just met here. There is little to tell. Dak and I were both Padawans. We joined the Order at the same time. He was a kind man, but frustrated. He felt the Jedi were too controlling, too limiting, more so than I did. When he decided to leave the Order, he asked me to come with him. He, he, he said he loved me. No, I didn't. I enjoyed his company as a friend, but nothing further. I had no idea he felt as he did. He was angry at my refusal. I assumed that he would get over the hurt in time. I suppose such feelings can fester and darken, and they never go away. He reminds me of what I was when you found me in the grove. I... I feel sorry for him. But he has chosen his path, hasn't he? If I thought he would accept an offer of help, I would give it. Let us just move on, please. How may I... What is... Oh, God. Never mind. So, yeah, Kendris. what do you want? What's up? Korriban is a Sith world, that's for sure. I mean, <coughs> just look at this place. Rumor has it that the leader of our clan at the time, Mandalore, did go down. They say the Sith performed terrible magics here. You have anything else you want to ask? Yeah, what did you do with my fucking bottle cap? Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. I mean, you say that, but you're real, uh... Repentant about having to kill one of your soldiers that survived your, uh, I'm gonna go get my own glory mission. <laughs> yep. Pink and purple bastard. <coughs> you know, quick save just in case. We'll go hit. Yeah, we'll hit up, uh. Sadao last. I'm gonna explore the academy a bit, see if I can't find the idiot. And if I can, I'm gonna go investigate the cantina for the idiot. The idiot, of course, being, uh. 
I want to say Spurn the Lover, one of my companions, but I don't think that's right. Oh, there absolutely is armor that's less pink for him, but uh, unfortunately, he, <laughs> his best stats are in the pink armor. So, you know. Oh, what the fuck? Nope. Go away, you speak here. Ah, what is this you bring me, Shardan? It is none other than the sword of Ajunta Paul, Master. Fool. All the trouble you went through for your deception, and you did not even make an effort to verify the sword's authenticity. Master, what... what do you mean? There is no place for fools amongst the Sith. Be gone. Yeah! Based. Greetings, young one. You have done very well... Uh, let's see, I have the sword. Ah, finally, the genuine sword. I knew that this relic would be unearthed in time. I can feel the power flowing through it. Well done. You have impressed me enough, by my estimation, to be... You have but one final test which you must take. I would advise you to be rested and equipped before we leave. When you return, make sure that you have all you will need, for you will face your test alone. Yeah, whatever, goober. Anyway, it's time to investigate this bitch. What are you doing here? Go back to Uthar and... No. I want to go find the spurned lover. No problem. Didn't work. Shit, hold on. Oh, I can't power select. Fuck. I need... I need one of my rubits or mission. You're not the guy I need. I want to break into the headmaster's office. See, I just came from there, yep. Sith guard, headass. She died, I literally killed her. Mikhail. I hear you beat out the others to get the prestige you needed. Congratulations. You deserve it. Neat. Oh, get the fuck out of the way. Hey, I'm ready for the test. Not nah, idiot. Fucking buffoon. Clown head ass. I'm going to the cantina. Also to grab mission. Apparently I can't yet. Alright, let's keep on moving then. Why? Because I want to break in that guy's office. See what he has. Probably has some cool stuff. Fire selection. Goodbye, you, and hello, you. What? Hey, level up. Skills. Boy, are you good at security. Get your trade injury up a bit, though. Could get her to use armor better. Yeah. Better armor upon you. Twenty dexterity. Go. Uh. Uh, 
Mandalorian assault rifle do be pretty damn good though. Not bad, not bad. So the assault gun. Yeah, I think that bowcaster actually might be the best for her. That's a blaster rifle. And she seems to hit hard with it. Let's see. Dark exoskeleton. It's giving you a 29 for defense. Alright. A bowcaster. <laughs> yes? There he is. Expose your love life. Now! If you must know, I intend to take the first ship off this rock. Why should that interest you? I trust you got whatever you wanted from the tombs. Why don't you ask her? She and I were students together at Dantooine, for a time. We were close, and we shared doubts about the Jedi's ways. I left for the Sith because I thought it would be better here. It looks like Jahani changed her mind and stayed with the Jedi after all. You're doing, maybe? Anyway, I'm done with the Jedi, the Sith, and with her. Just leave me alone. Why are you leaving? I already said, didn't I? I... Why do you care? I've no intention of opposing you. Perhaps you could go back to the Jedi. I did. I don't know. I'll think about it. Just leave me alone, Jahani. Then leave. Hey, bud. <laughs> Did you really just go out of the way to continue rubbing salt in the wound? Yes. Because I'm proud to be an American. The Academy. Alright, let's go see if we can break in to the teacher's room using the yeah. power of mission. Secrets do you possess here? <laughs> Sith mask and Jedi master robes. Nice. Oh, I guess I could have killed him during the night or some shit. What Sith mask do? I'm assuming he was blocked uh, by. Oh. Mine affecting bonus feet weapon focus, lightsaber, force generation plus one. Plus your bonus over my stabilizer, save plus two. Oh my god, that is clowntastic. Alright, we're rocking this. Fuck y'all. <laughs> yes? You as my uh, second favorite Jedi, you get the... Uh... Oh, right, you don't have the armor for it. Never mind. You don't get it. What? God. <laughs> what the 
the fucking te the headmaster of the academy. Oh, that mask looks familiar. Where'd you happen to get it? Oh, don't worry about it. Rubber scuff said something oh, was over here. Interrogation room. Yo. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Maybe you can do better than I. This Mandalorian is proving more resistant than I expected. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get him to tell us where his weapon cache is hidden. So far, all the serum combinations I'm using are proving ineffective. If I bring his drug threshold too high, he'll go into shock and be useless. Too low, and he just refuses to talk. It's been madly. Why am I trying? Certainly. Uh, just don't kill him or send him into shock. He's supposed to be questioned, not executed. If you manage to get the location of his cash out of him, it'll save me a lot of trouble. Up to you. Hmm. Anyways, give me this yeah. metal box. <laughs> Hell yeah, droid heavy plating type 3. Alright, victim. Oh, I guess I have to. We eat a non dieta. What a yuma wama huhu nandetik. Ah, shotungni batoga. Wano kuzbe ching palamule donke. Puna Cabo do Paco Cabo do Paco Palia Puna Cabo do Cabo do Now, what if I keep you on this loop? Cabo do Tune Pudo. Puna Cabo Pucha Tonga ya Fulke Chachisco to Punta Casa Paca Pana Uto. Yes, I heard that. Excellent job. Thank you for locating the cash. Naturally, I would see rewarded, but I would prefer that everyone believe that I extracted the information. Oh? I suppose one would need to be alive to go running to Master Yutha to report the location of the cache, wouldn't they? Does that mean that you're ready to battle a true Sith, then? Ha! Ah, gather your anger, then. Fool! <laughs> hey, yo, journal entry? Oh. I see. There was your cosmic Why couldn't you have believed me, Mandalorian? I wanted to save you. Anyway, it's a nice dueling room. What's up? Metal 
fox, thy nemesis. Go away. There's nothing we need to talk about. I guess we'll go tell Teach uh, we're ready. I'm ready! I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So then, I take it you are ready. I'm ready. Then we go. Bye, mission. Bye, cat lady. I'm gonna go die. A day passes in preparation, Othar then takes you and Ethera to the Seth Tomb. Companions are not permitted to join you. Oh. Very well. We are now ready for your final test, young Sith. You have earned the right to see if you shall become one of us. Indeed you have. I dislike your tone, Ethera. What are you up to now? Nothing, of course, my master. I was merely agreeing with you. Should we not get on with the test? Yes. Yes, of course. We are in the sacred tomb of Nagasado, young one. The one discovered by Darth Malak and Darth Revan years ago. You are to follow in their footsteps and reach the ancient star map that lies deep within. There you will find a lightsaber, amongst other things. The lightsaber is for you, your initiation present. Return to us once you have it. For you, the test does not end there. Be very cautious here. This tomb is like the others in this valley, and many of its old defenses remain active. Do you understand what I have told you? Are you ready to begin? You know, you say, uh... You say once I have a lightsaber, my test is complete, but my brethren in Christ. I'm General Grievous of this universe. <laughs> Good. Euthora and I will await your return. Cool. Goodbye. Quick save. Oh, I see. Um. Well, 
So the lightsaber is weaker, I'm gonna kill you. Special fire grenade. Interdasting. Special ice grenade. Doubly interdasting. Now I wonder if I'm supposed to switch out the grenades, basically. Ow. <laughs> like put the ice in the fire and the fire in the ice. Yeah, it'll probably help if I actually sat down and read, but boy, howdy, do I not care. <laughs> Alright. 
I'm having a real don't care moment and it's biting me in the ass. Alright, fucking sexual read. Top may be transferred to any pillar. Mid upper cause overload with an active top. The base. 
a chance to blank pill and no systems on it. To the right, move us to the pillar from the left. To the middle, move our pillar from the right. To the middle, left, right. Fuck! I meant to hit read. Middle to Man, this puzzle's a lot more easier if you actually sit there and read the puzzle, even if you don't want to. Poison blade. Oh, I wouldn't blame them. It's an easy puzzle, it's just, you know, requires a motherfucker to sit there and read. Yeah, brother. I want to kill. The puzzles deny me that sweet, sweet blood. Oh. It means nothing. Ah! Oh, Yo, 
Oh, we got the star pillar. Or star map, sorry, not star pillar. What the fuck did I. Whoopsie. Sith lightsaber. I am truly the Chungus Bazongus. I didn't have a plasma grenade to throw out of curiosity. <gasps> Can I throw the special fire grenade? Oh, wait, no, probably because so I couldn't throw it. You us with the lightsaber in hand. As I knew you would. The Force has served you well. You took a great risk in acquiring the artifact. You used your mind and your power. No peaceful meditation, no pacifism. Sometimes you must fight in order to achieve. This gives you your passion. This makes you stronger. This is what makes you superior. That is the lesson we teach with that part of the final test. Do you understand? <sighs> When a Jedi acts, it is with skill, true. But the Jedi teach you that your passions are counterproductive. That strength is only found in peace. Did you not feel a moment of excitement in the tomb? Did your passions not flow and make you feel stronger and more alive? What no, you made me do a fucking puzzle. <laughs> yourself from such? I would say only the purpose of the Jedi. Through this, they would control you and restrict your potential. Perhaps not to someone of your natural strength. The point is in the recognition of the nature of the act, rather than its sheer difficulty. Good. The last part of your test will now commence. Here, you will learn the lesson of competition. All life must compete in order to flourish. Such is the natural way of the universe. To stand still is to know death. One must always be moving forward. So it is the same amongst the Sith. Compete or die, mercy is irrelevant. So it behooves you in this final test to strike down one you are familiar with for no other reason than to prove you are superior and without mercy. Normally, this would be against another student. You, however, get a special treat. You will fight Euthora here, my own apprentice. What? So this is what you had planned all along? You wish me killed? Indeed. You have become too ambitious, Euthura. It is time for you to die and someone more talented to take your place. No, it is time for you to die, Master. My pupil stands with me. Oh, is this true, young one? You wish to join Euthura in her foolish scheme? I mean, I'm gonna kill you both. <laughs> Final test continues as it should. The only rule. I clicked the wrong button. I'm not gonna lie. It was a misinput. <laughs> oh fuck! I gotta do this again. No. Oh! <laughs> I should have stuck with my misinput. Fuck. Oh, look 
at that, anyways. Imagine if, like, Raven had complete memory of this temple, he just goes up to the instructors, yeah, this shit wasn't like this last time I was here, what the fuck? <laughs> Y'all goofing. Alright, let's save here, so that way I don't have to... In case I misclick again, I don't have to redo it again. Yo, acid, cold grenade. Sorry, Scuff, I blue balled you again. I'm not gonna burn myself to death with acid. Ow! Ah! Right, blue bald scuff. Balls are fat, they are blue. <laughs> I'm gonna touch the star man just to. Okay, I feel better now. So, you would the forest, you took a some time. That is the let. I understand. God. All luck. So, so, not what? Indeed. No. Oh. I'm with her. Do you hear that, my master? That is the sound of a new leader rising to replace you. So, the time has come, has it? You both wish to stand against a Sith master and perish, do you? Then so be it. Typical. Then you should have no trouble defending yourself, for what it's worth. Yeah, typical woman. Never planned ahead. A real Sith would have no hesitation in striking me down. Then I hope you got what you came to the Academy for, whatever that was. I was right the first time back at the Cantina, wasn't I? There is something strange about you, more so than I even suspected. Your path leads elsewhere to a destiny I can only guess at. Go then. Go See ya, idiot. 
fuck out of the way. Now, do I want to kill her for shits and giggles? Yes, but... However, I'm already fucking on that tightrope going to the dark side there, so... That's why she gets to live. Because it's the Jedi thing to do, even though, uh... Oh, we don't kill our enemies no matter what is a bullshit line, alright? You fucking murk your enemies the first chance you get. That's rule number one. But, uh, this is supposedly my light playthrough, according to my YouTube playlist, so, uh... Yeah. Oh. Can I just fast travel back to the other half? No. Bodo Binted. I kind of regret not going into dual wielding. Just for the simple fact of I could have two lightsabers that are insanely retarded. Like, I wouldn't want to do, like, I kind of want to have my, uh, cat lady set up with. Oh, they'll probably both normal sized lightsabers, not one small, because I want to get that damage maximum. Master Uthora has taken over the academy. Everyone's talking about it. I guess she finally got rid of Uthar's son. Nope. Valley, I went the wrong way. Mission, you bitch, out of the way. <laughs> Oh shit, is that the level up boys I've been hearing about? Yes. Skill treats injury. Haha. <laughs> uh nope, I can't cast Abacadabba, but I can uh advance your lightsaber throw. Skill Yeah, I was gonna do security, gonna do that. Demolitions. Yeah, you got a snake attack. That's pretty good and all, but uh, leans forward. What else you got? Except the fate. Let's suck all, baby. F-R-E-E, this feels free. Oh, right, you're the wrong fucking burrito. Excuse me. Yeah, let's see your fucking inventory, idiot. Oh! Ah, oh, I actually got some fire. Hmm. Dexterity and Constitution, yeah, no. Yeah. Hey, that power suit, I don't think it's good in terms of like what I want from my companions, but I mean, it's pretty up there. Oh, uh, yeah. I might have the Mandalorian in my evil playthrough just whip around at the speed of sound melee weapons like uh, Exiled King had. Because then he'd make real use of that heavy armor and strength that he has. Right. 
to the Ebon Cock. Now, I definitely got new crystals, so let's uh, see what that's about. Can I wish there were more colors, but at the same time, I'm glad there isn't. Let's see, we got Solari. So, alignment limitation light, attack bonus 3, damage bonus versus dark alignment group, dark side, D8, light side, damage bonus, physical 3. Alright. So this is real good at fucking up uh, dark Jedi and dark aligned characters. This gives you an extra 1d6 and attack bonus of 1. Let's see. The Frickin gives you attack bonus 2. Damage bonus versus droids for an additional 2d6. The weaker version. Bolt deflection and energy damage bonus. Damage bonus 3, massive criticals 2d6. Attack bonus 1. I like the stun, I'm not gonna lie, it's very useful, but. Being the absolute shit of dark side users is probably gonna be better for me. What's next door do? Attack bonus one, we could do better than that. Robot damage. Yeah. All right. And now we go to the Ebon Hawk. To Ebon the Hawk. Although I got a piss, so, uh. Now, instead of going to the Star Forge system, we're gonna go do the side quest stuff. So, first we're gonna go to Tatooine. Uh, apparently, I can't go to Datooine. Unfortunate. Uh, actually, now we'll just star forge it. I don't need more dark side points, but what I will do, however, is go take a piss before we travel, because boy howdy, <laughs> I've been holding it in. <laughs>
I'm back. Yeah, stepped away. Oh. Hi, right, so yeah, I should really get a I'm a wave transition made at some point. So that way it doesn't just AFK the experience, but uh yeah. I went to take a piss. <laughs> Anyways, here's a cinematic that is making the scream <laughs> the stream fucky, not the scream. Yeah, we're exiting the dumb little Sith planet where uh we're fucking ballin'. We're flying through space, space to space, hyperdrive. We did it. <laughs> you are strong, child. But I will break you. I'll never fall to the dark side. You think torture will turn me, Malik? You are a fool. Torture? No, dear Bastula. You misunderstand. This is but a taste of the dark side to whet your appetite. When you finally swear loyalty to me, it will be willingly. Never. <laughs> Such resolve in your words, but I see the truth in your heart. The dark side calls to you, Bastula. You hunger to taste it. Become my apprentice, and all its power can be yours. <laughs> Hey, yo, an old time of my game. After he gave her more electric shock therapy. What the fuck? Cinematic. Of us, uh... Going to the Starforge system or whatever. Yo, it's a pillar of light. It's going into the forge. And the forge is huge. And there's a large amount of warships and uh, fighters going up beep, 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 around it. The Star Forge. I've never seen anything like it. I'm transmitting these coordinates to Admiral Dodonna. It'll be a quick strike by the Republic and cripple the Sith fleet. Message is away. Now we can just wait for the Republic to show up. We should be safe here. We're outside their sensor range. Small vanguard of Sith fighters coming in hard. Someone needs to get on those gun turrets. Take those fighters out before they report our position to the main fleet. Alright, well, now I have to defend the ship from uh, Sith fighters. Our favorite main Incoming fleet. Fighters. problems. We've flown to some kind of disruptor field. All my instruments are jammed. We've got massive overloads in all systems. I'm picking up a single planet in this system. I'll try and put us down there. Hold on. This may be a rough landing. Alright. And we're uh, casually landing on the planet. Whew. Talk about your rough landings, Karth. There we go. Now I can... Do this to hopefully the fix up the stream. You're flying like you've been on an all-night Theresian ale drinking binge. That disruptor field fried our stabilizers. We're lucky we made it down in one piece. But if I can't find the salvage to make repairs, I won't even be able to get the Ebonhawk airborne again. During our rather rapid descent, I noticed the holes of many crashed ships scattered across the landscape. Perhaps the parts you need can be found among their wreckage. The Cathar's right. This planet's a technological graveyard. I saw dozens of downed ships out there. That disruptor field must have wiped them all out. But where could it be coming from? 
Even if we get the stabilizers fixed, we have to find and disable the source of that disruptor field before we can take off. Otherwise, we'll just end up crashing again. They must have some kind of protection against it, but the Republic fleet won't. We have to find a way to disable that disruptor field, or the Sith will slaughter them. T3's picking up massive power fluctuations on the ship's sensors. They seem to be coming from some type of large stone structure to the east. It looks like some kind of ancient temple. Good idea. If that temple's generating power, it probably has something to do with that disruptor field. Hey, don't forget about Bastila, guys. We still have to rescue her, too. I only hope we're not too late. Bastila has been Malak's prisoner for a long time. If he can turn her to the dark side, she will join him and the Sith will be invincible. I fear Bastila will find the lure of the dark side difficult to resist. She is strong in the Force, but she is also impulsive, willful, and proud, as you once were, Revan. I'm glad to hear you say that. Now that you know your true identity, I was afraid you might slip back over to the dark side. If Bastila feels as you do, there may yet be hope for her. Well, if Bastila's on the Starforge like you think, Jolie, then we can't rescue her until we disable that disruptor field. The sooner we investigate that temple to the east, the better. We can probably find the wreckage of a downed ship along the way. If we're lucky, we can salvage some stabilizers from it to get off this planet. I hope everything works out as smooth as you make it sound, Karth. Well, so do I, Mission. So do I. <coughs> right. I think the stream went re-fucky, so we'll just do that again. Level up. Dicks. For the memories. Get him that regeneration. Yes. Oh. It's a fish man. Fish people incoming. My lightsaber. Oh, shit. This goes like crystal. We are just two Naji tonight. In a Kuma, Masira, Rajikun, Slimo Patona. Yeah, damn. I love streaming this game with uh, in movie cuts. <laughs> uh, what are you doing here? Tiska do suki kuba na bona na kachu al tu inko tu toka da bungwalia gando na go chuchu kapachi kuita hotonga ya la mo inko tu jilo ba muri rani bobo wango ku best ga gang ba ma muri ra ya toka ul wan kin ku na ba muri ra ra chi kun mucha sha pampa ja wana bota ayu at ta hunga ja kanki dora kachi kuita hotonga Topa da bunk wali agando do nago chuchu. Muxa pa pampa, bola wana chitne. Ba muli slay mo, boda wanga kun bes muli ra ra bes. Uba patu koji. 
Dong 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 chang yung yang. Dong kadok smak del ya. Nabo da ni wiki smak toma. Wana ku bes ching pa ma rui ra. Tok ching bang non kick. Tok ning cha mui ra ra bes. Tiska du suki ku ba na bona na kachu. Bab tu inko tu. Topa da bung kwa lia ganto na go chu chu. Kaba chi ku ita ho tonga. Yala mo inko pungun. Jilo wa mui ra ni bobo. Wango ku bes ka kain. Ba ma ma rui ra. Kui ami chus ku na jik tenai. Ina kun ma ma rui ra ra chikun. Slimo pa tona. Mundi cha wana bota ayu ha ta honga cha kanki dora. Ka chi ku ita ho tonga. Topa da bung kwa lia ganto do na go chu chu. Muxia pa pupa, bola wana chikne. Ba muli slay mo, boda wanga kun bes muli ra ra bes. Ya tuka uluan kin kun na ba muli ra uba batu koji. Tong nong bong chong. Kui ami chus kun na chik tenai. Ina. Tiska du suki ku ba na bola na uba batu koji. La boda ni winki smak toma. Wana kun bes ching pa maru. Switch out our companions immediately. Why? Sure. Damn fishies. The super nice power attack. It's over. Right. That leads out towards the m, -m, -m mandos Mandos. Uh, don't ask why I did that. I think it might be a thing of sleep depravity or something like that. Gazika. Oh, there's the temple. Gazika. Wow, not much of different temple. Yeah, I know there's an entire ass uh, quest line that I did not complete on oh, man. It was the uh, zoo. <laughs> I didn't do the zoo quest line. I kept poison. It didn't give me the interaction too. On Yavin 4, right? you could straight up kill that fucking guy's pet. She'd be like, no, you don't get to have joy in this lonely station, idiot. Alright, foot locker. Oh, that's a Republic ship right there, isn't it? Like, one of their hammerheads. Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba. 
Alright, well, let's hit the north beach and kill the Mandalorians. Kill the bubble bubble. I don't know, so maybe we'll make peace with them since we have the homie back here. Speaking of the homie, hey, how do you feel about killing that yeah, one guy? Yeah, what do you want? I'm not happy with the way my life has turned. I'm not the Mandalore I once was. I don't even think I'm the Merc I was when I joined you. I think... I think I need something more than killing and fighting in my life. The way the Mandalorians... We... Fought. It holds no appeal for me. To rape and ravage worlds for the thrill of battle. It gets old. Very old. Honor in battle. Cheating death. Comrades in arms. The code of the Mandalore. I think I'm something different now. Maybe more. Maybe less. <laughs> no. The time of the clans is past. I don't think the galaxy wants them anymore. Maybe in the future. Not now. Once my time with you is done, once you have moved on to greater things, I'll find my own way once again. Maybe the Mandalorian clans will be reborn again. Maybe even under the Republic. Or the Sith. The dreaming about the future is stupid right now. We should get down to our business and finish it. If we survive all this, maybe we could talk about it then. Is there something? What do you know about here? This world is... odd. It looks like a battlefield, but the environment here is lush and green. Whatever happened here was a long time ago. I have seen many strange worlds in my time, but this world is stranger still. I don't like this place. Something happened, or is happening here, and I don't like it. We should get out of here as soon as possible. You have anything? Nope. Your choice. Uh, to the northern beach. How Actually, we talked to her. What is it? Well, I mentioned before that my pen. In the early days of the Mandalorian War, there had been fighting closer to the Outer Rim Worlds. Cathar was there, yes. My people had a great reputation as warriors, and that appealed to the Mandalore version of honor. They sought to test themselves against us, I think. Test themselves by bombing our world. Slaughtering my people while they slept, or while they ran. They swooped down from space, across the world, firing at anything that moved. They used ships in space to destroy all orbital facilities and bombard the surface. We did resist. And in spite of their violent attack, we did stave them off for quite a while. But in the end, we were doomed. We were not members of the Republic. Cathar was beyond the edge of the Republic, in the Outer Rim. And besides, they could not have known. Our interstellar communications were the first things the Mandalores hit. All other short-range communicators were jammed. We were on our own. We knew what was coming. We had fought the Mandalorians in the first war against Exar Kun and the Sith. We knew there would be no mercy for us. The most we could do was pack the few of our people who survived onto what few ships remained and send them off into space as fast as they could. Most did not make it. My parents carried me as a baby with them and were lucky enough to escape. They fled as far as they were able and eventually settled on Taris. They could stand running no further, I think. But Taris was a horrible choice. Dominated by humans, intolerant of other species, made everyday life unnecessarily hard. My father... My father turned to stimulants. He spent much of his time in local bars and dives. But we are warriors. It runs through our blood. And when he was on stims, he... he, he became foolish. He let his warrior nature get the best of him. So he would get intoxicated, and he would fight. And finally, one day, he would die. Killed by a man who provoked him into a fight and killed him like an animal. I, I am sorry, I... I cannot talk about this. How may I be a... Hey, you want to talk about it? What is it? After my father died, my mother was left to support me alone. 
A single non-human woman living in one of the worst, most violent slums on Terrace. It was not easy to breathe. When my father was killed, it seemed that something in her began to die as well. She worked. She worked as hard as she was able. But over time, she began to waste away. I later learned that she was unable to get enough money to feed both of us, and had to start borrowing from the exchange. A band of cutthroats and smugglers. But even that was not enough. She hid what she was doing from me. She gave most of her food to me so that I would be strong, but she herself was suffering deeply from it. In the end, she could go on no longer, and collapsed at the cantina where she worked one day. She never recovered. There was nothing really that I could do for her. She left me no money, and no doctor would see her without being paid first. I sat by her bed for days as she lay there dying. I never want that to happen to someone I care about ever again. But there was still the money she had borrowed. She had never paid it back and made no provisions for her death. You must understand. The exchange is brutal. They care nothing for the life of a sentient being. They are the major suppliers of slaves on Terrace. They thought it would be appropriate that, with my mother owing them money, the debt should be passed on to me. And with no way to pay, they took me by force. You have no idea what it is like to be bound like a beast and treated as such. It was the worst time. They treated me like livestock. They were waiting for a buyer to give them some credits for me when the Jedi came to fight the Mandalorians. The Jedi could not abide by what they saw there, and drove the exchange from the face of the world, freeing those of us imprisoned there. But the Jedi soon left to fight their war, and I was left with the truth. I swore that I would become a Jedi. As soon as I had enough money to do it, I bought passage on a freighter headed for Dantooine. And we both know what has happened since then. I am grateful to you for having given me the opportunity to fulfill my dream, rather than become what I hated. Someday, I may make it up to you. Hmm, neat. Sad backstory. <laughs> Hit me a little bit on the heartstring, but you know, we're just gonna keep moving. Hold on a second. You understood these goggle-eyed freaks? You must have come to this planet and learned the language back before the Jedi messed up your mind. Back when you were still Revan. <laughs> ガーバラボタ、アイワタバケンキドラ。ジーストスンケコバオラナイカチュ。キガチティマン。ユマリバアキンゴトゥン。ウババトコンチ。ワリハブレンコース。ウララ。ジライクンタ。I need to get back to the Evan Hawk and fix my lightsaber. Because the game won't let me, I want Rancors. No clue. 
Sucking people off. Wait a minute. Storage. A Wookiee Warblade. Huh. Well, I thought we were seeing those on, you know, Kashyyyk. Sith Tremor Sword. Back to the Evan Hawk and fucking Who the Batu Koki, the Duke of Arua? Who yummy Jews? Who cheat that up? I didn't get my lightsaber back, and a light side new was there apparently. I'm just a bastard. communal sleeping area. Alright guys, put on your pajamas. Could also be a hospital, but I'm more inclined to believe it's a uh, communal sleep area. So put on your goddamn pajamas. man but and I'll honestly we'll deal with him in a second <laughs> that's it Benny sleeping pile now <laughs> Tonghai Sakswamaji, Yuma Lipa Akinko Kun. 
Whatever, nerd. <laughs> Fucking got him. That's the end of the compound. You may have all the vibro blades you want, but I'm vibro based. <laughs> Yeah, yes. Yes, close from life. Ignorant savage. Now as we get back to the hawk. Oh, I thought I was going to be in a combat situation based off that little cutscene there. Woo! Fuck him up. Alright, well. That was eventful. Parentheses. Sleepy. Ebon hawk, ebon hawk, ebon hawk, ebon hawk. Bum. Bum 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 bum. Can get rid of that crystal. It's poisoning us against us and everything we stand for. Give it the bonder treatment. Actually, no. We'll bring Karth. I will mind you, Scuff. Core, choke him. Oh, fuck, there's a few of you. Okay. 
This is not in the job description, I'm not gonna lie. So, you know, I feel a little lied to. Yes. You Jesus Christ, how many rancors are there? Got hands. Your wish. Yes. I'm on a quest to save fast love from my evil dickhead traitor of a son. Pushed by a bunch of Mandalorians, and then all my characters Ready. decided I will no longer yes. do any actions, and uh, we died. 
All right, let's go get revenge on those Mandalorians real quick. I'm pissed. I'm gonna kill them. Your wish? What? What? Things are uh, not looking good here. <laughs> good old lightsaber throw. <laughs> Can't forget how good it is. I think because I'm usually up close and personal, anyways, but still. I did it. I am the wiener. Hmm. Mandalorian is soul armor and a mando head. Hmm. Sure. Plant. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Quick save. I smell Mando. <laughs> yeah, 
And brother, I'm pissed. No little frog creature. With, sir. Didn't work. Didn't work. What? Fuck it. Diffuse it the proper way. Listen, he has regeneration. He's a big boy. That one hurted. But it's safe now for the Gizka. Yes. Ready. What? Alright, let's uh, go to battle. We'll save actually real quick. To battle. Oh. Hello, Rancor. Fancy meeting you here. Say, Bodo Binted. Was that all there was to do over here? Just pick up a ship part and then explode? I don't know. Where am I going? I don't need, I don't remember this part of the game. I am simply wandering. I will not go into the compound, there's electrical fences. <laughs> That is clearly a privacy fence right there, Exile. Like, why would I break into that? Huh. Listen, this is clearly a privacy fence. Oh, fair enough. Forward, 
Tuki, actually. Nemole the best. Well, let's go. As we discovered via my lightsaber earlier, I am not a Jedi, I am a Grey. <laughs> Uh, the one was the I spoke to you once before what I want. Kachicho y tamo tonga. Yin kin kuno ba bulira chikun. Slimo kutuna. Ronde a donka kuon babi. Takon just tak mi kin grabber moko. Kachicho y tamo tonga. Tompa de bongwa ya kanto de nago chocho. Moga chaponka. Bola wana chepne. Ba mulis limo porana wanga kumbis mulera best. Don't have you want Gigi you want to lift up at Inko to talk about what you're going to do in our church shop? Can't you to eat that out on that? You want to eat that Inko to? Jello Moran, Benny Bobo. Wango Kumbis Kamba, Mulera. Tonga Bucha Umeno. Wanda Kumbis Kamba, Mulera. Junior to Gigi in the Tuan. Cabe Volpe Morgi Gomana. Uh, yeah, they get to the temple. My mind was destroyed, you fucking goober. I am not rat. Kaba don pa kupa li tonga bush. Kipuna tonga bush apun. Kachicho itamo tonga. Okay. Yin ki kuno ba bulira chikun. Rondi ha tonga ku honga bi. Wala. I can approve it. Kachicho itamo tonga. Yin ki kuno ba bulira chikun. Slimo putuna. Rondi ha tonga ku honga bi. Takon just tak mi ki grabber moko. Kachicho ita hao donga. Tompa te bongo alia gando de. Tong hai wam chiji yu ma li tak ag inko tu. Tok ta bongo alia gando de na aga chucho. Takon just tak mi ki grabber moko. Kachicho ita hao donga. So if I save the prisoner, you'll help me. Rondi hao donga ku honga bi. Wala. Yeah, you said, uh... You said, oh, no, then I'll have free up around the enclave. I'm running around, I'm running around. Well, now, cages. Eh, like a woman. Very cool, anyways. Uh, you, you guys got stuff in these baskets? Nope, okay. I would not be doing my rattling duties if I didn't try to steal everything from you immediately. Like your grenades, or your advanced med pack and repair kits. What's up, idiot? Give me your bin. Did they repopulate the Rancors? God damn it.
Who's dragging? Of course, it's the Republic pilot. Why do you fuckers respawn? Nope, I can't transit. It sucks. Right, well, I can get down there, enter, exit the Ebon Hog, that'll replenish all our HP, and then we head on out to deal with the one and go get that Scout Arena. Currently at 23, you say? Well, what about that? Our health. Exit. Gonna grab you just so I can give you the proper armor. What? Congratulations, you are no longer Bodo Binted. C24 2. Yeah, a little bit less, but you'll actually have Mandalorian drip on your side. So, yes. you know, you got that going for you. Anyway, let's get out of my sight. I'm fucking ballin'. <laughs> There's a lot more warriors now. Oh dear god. Thank <laughs> you. 
Looks like I'm finding my way through these people. Hmm. Let's get all healed up before we uh burst on them. Yes. Yes. All right, let's go. They fucked around. They gotta find out. Not incredibly violent, I'm just incredibly right. Right in my justification to wipe your existence out. <laughs> Sean Michael, the heartbreak kid. That fucker's glowing, I don't like it. What is it? Uh -huh. What is it? Can't woman turn on your shield. We must equally glow. What? It is the only way to overcome him. Well, you're probably right. Based off the rancors, I gotta agree with you. However, Bodo binted. Ready. 
The one meet rapid fire. Sure. You will fall. All right, we did it. <laughs> Save. To Nepuru, run a brother to Uncle Serge. Had you a pink? I was sent by the council. Run the hard on a Kuhonga V. Wala kumbes, cheng para moli ton king ba no kong king. Tuk ni ta chukum, ne moli da bes. Rondi hao donga ku honga vi. Wala kumbes, cheng para... Bye. Ready. Level up. Treat injury. Not really anything I kind of want to do for you. I don't know. Fucking. There you go. Pass on the head. Yo, feet. Well, add Master Power Strike since you seem to be throwing a lot of those around. And Stasis Field as a treat. Master Force Jump and Master Sons. Nice. Oh. Let's keep adding my uh, attack bonus with lightsabers. Uh, I don't know. What do I want? Saber throw. Saber throw is pretty cool. Alright, Johnson, let's return to the Enclave. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Hey, yo, ship parts. Why they have a random. Nah, I'm not gonna bother. You know, they just had the part, we're just gonna move on with it. Make sure there's no more ship parts of the like in the cages. Nope. That's just dookie. How many ship parts do I need? Well, I'm good, it doesn't tell me. Now, I would hate for a clear answer. Bastion man? I don't know how he managed to survive our onslaught, but you know, he tried his luck. And now he's dead. I shot him 18 times.
I shot him myself. Thank you for not respawning the Rancors yet again, game. I appreciate it. For real. I'm not going back over that pillar. I already killed a group of Mandalorians there. I don't need, uh, more. Although, I gotta switch my, uh, Twitch over to fucking just no longer watching mode. I gotta switch it over to stream manager. Because my phone is dying, and you know, I got scuff in the chat. Stream manager. There we go. Unfortunately, the thing about stream manager is it doesn't keep all the chat that has happened before then. Uh, so yeah. So if the stream just froze right now, for example, I wouldn't know. Fucking records. Item. Oh yeah, what happens when I kick my power cord then, Scuff? Look at those dumb little aliens. Ta con just that meek grabber mobo. Cachicho ita haudonga. Tolpa de bon guardia gando de nago jocho. Moga japonka. Bola wana chekne. Pa mulis timo por anawanga kumbis mule rabes. Tong hai wam chiji yuma lita ad inko tu. Tolpa da bon guardia gando de nago jocho. Cachicho ita haudonga. You are not in good to the moral belly bobo. One of whom is can belly bobo. That can just that make a grab a mobo. Cachicho ita haudonga. Tolpa the bomb while you can do the nago jocho. Moga japonka. Bola wana chekne. Pamulis limo por anawanga. Kumbis mule rabes. Tong hai wam chiji yuma lita ad inko tu. Tolpa the bomb while you can do the nago jocho. Cachicho ita haudonga. You are leader in Kutu. Shalomoran Benubobo. Wango Kumbis Kamba Morera. We're working together. Takonjo stuck Miki Grabber Mobo. Kachicho Ita Haldonga. 
толпа до Богу Алия Гандо Денаго Джорджо. Мога Жапонка, Боло Уана Чекне. Па молис имо Порана Уанда Кумбис Моле Рабес. Тон хай вам Чичи Юма Липта Ал Инпо Ту. Толпа до Богу Алия Гандо Денаго Джорджо. Yeah, I'm not going to walk in there alone if I have a goddamn choice. Jello Moran, Benibo. Wango Kumbis Kanba, Morera. Oh, why do I have to go in alone? I ain't one of you. Don't hang up, Gigi Yumalita, Al Inpo 2. Talk to Don Gualia Gando de Nava Jucho. Cachincho Ita, Aldana. Yumalita Inko 2. Jello Moran, Benibo. Wango Kumbis Kanba, Morera. Yeah, fuck it. Bring me in. Bring-me-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-in-
Why do I get the feeling this is going to take a while? Still, we better stay ready. As soon as those shields go down, we have to get inside the temple. Fuck, a cinematic. <laughs> Lord Malak, the preparations are nearly complete. Every day the Star Forge adds more ships to our fleet. It is operating at nearly 300% of our projections. The fleet is assembling around the Star Forge and awaits your instructions. Patience, Commander. My new apprentice is nearly ready. Once Bastula joins her battle meditation to our enormous fleet, we shall be invincible. Then we shall begin our final conquest of the Core Worlds, and the Republic will be crushed forever. As you wish, Lord Malak. Probably because it was a true in-game cinematic, not an in-game movie. Hmm. Quick save. Yes. Oh, we'll level up. Actually, let's look at inventory stuff first. Uh, good enough. Level up. There's time to make you a two-handed wielder of death. That was that flurry. No stamina. Trade injury power. Add kill to your repertoire, cause why not? Level up. Treat injury powers. Two remaining. Hmm. Well, let's get force wave, and then let's get a uh, drain life. Blue Fleury. Force storm. Easy. Oh, there it is. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. I see now. Uh, let's go. Let's game this way. Fuck around, find out type deal. Know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Uh, uh bit up, bit up, bit up, bit up. You know that type of shit. <laughs> it's a Sith acolyte. Kick him. Feel free to not enter the combat there, goddamn. Metal box, alright. Computer. Spike. Download area schematic. Easy. North security room. A Jedi. Die. So. That's me, let's not blow myself up again like I did earlier. Uh, corrupts. Uh, okay. Armory, nothing there. Armory exterior. Prototype droid command room. <laughs> Fuck your computer. <laughs> Obelisk. Deactivate. North. K. 
kill the droid. Sell. Kill the droid. Well, now we know where everything is, so... South corridor, prototype, guard post, armory. Okay, so let's, yeah, let's go exploring this way. I feel like I may have fucked up by uh, destroying the command room or the prototype droid's uh, computer room, but uh, you know, it'll be fine. to the bozo for real bro open the box stop pumping the ground chief chief all right yeah, i don't want that metal box it's just bringing me nothing but misery oh, i thought i disabled you Oh, well, you are disabled. You will fall. Cool. This is actually set up for a man adventure, and uh, we are just defying the spirit of that. Who dares intrude on our meditations? You know the penalty for. Revan, you are back. Malak told us what happened to you. The Jedi. You are not fit to rule the Sith. Yeah, you say that, but, uh... Bippity boppity boo, you dumbass god in the chicken. Sure. New hit rhymes uh, coming to you weekly. Dark Jedi Knight. Ooh, Jedi Knight. Ooh, you're so prestigious. <laughs> Brandon. Lord Malak told us you still lived. Oh. At last, a challenge worthy of my skills. I, I intensified my training tenfold in hopes I would get the chance to face you in mortal combat. I am glad to see my training has not been in vain. Do you know what the term gang up is? <laughs> Yep. Oh no, he's shocking me! That is what a shed I Crystal I haven't seen. 
And there's goat, let's see. Ah, that's only a plus three. Oh, actually. Dexterity, okay, yeah, we'll keep that in you. Oh, Sith Power got lit upon you then. I do not have force speed now. I refuse to speed. Yes? I'm not Barry Allen. I got a grass door. So there's a shield, power armor, guns, in an area exclusively populated by... Okay, fuck hmm, that's a lot of grenades. That's nice. Bondar, let's see. Additional D8. Tag bonus three. I mean, I like the chance to potentially stun. You never know, but eh. yeah, let's go for damage. Fuck it. And that was the last mistake he ever made. Break him. Nope. Rubart. Nope. Right. Sigil. Mm -hmm. Let's go! Dumb idiot boy. Yo, it's landmines. There you go. Pita, 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 pita. Didn't work. <laughs> Skill too low. Watch this. Hey, ah! <laughs> Universal computer interface, all right. That's very nice. Go out there, Chief, and make me proud. Let him go bully whoever. <laughs> if there is anybody. Cause we're gonna blow up all the computers. What is this? Understandable, have day. Get another quick save.
No, they're fucking up the homie. What? Little homie, no. You got fucked up. Yeah, that probably leads down to where it still is, but uh, I'm not really done looting, so you know she can she can stay corrupted by the dark side as a treat for a little bit longer. I'm bloodthirsty. Give me your sip. I will be your tomb. Yeah, I like the old man runs up to a Sith choking to death. I still got it as he cuts into them. <laughs> still got what? Me a little bastard? Oh. <laughs> Speaking of boo-boos, that droid literally bonked me like I'm a goddamn cartoon. save her quick save the catacomb the catacomb haha <laughs> oh no <laughs> <laughs> that droid heard me made a hilarious joke sure. God, that was loud. Ha <laughs> 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 Nice. I got a crystal. like a bajillion force points is fun. I can quite literally afford to be retarded. And as the famous song says, if you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. Oh, that's a reset button. Ah! Alright, hold on, you fuckers, come here. Alright, you fuckers don't come running in, alright? Alright. 
entire thing is can we get the uh shit So I step on the reset button. Easier if I didn't have to spin to move every two goddamn seconds. Dumbass little puzzles. Alright, so that covers that. God damn it. That. Fuck. And then. Bap. Alright. So, in theory, Bap. Nope, not bad. Bad? No? Because I assume I gotta... I assume I gotta get all these highlighted. But... Fuck. EA Sports. These two do not work. Now I got this highlighted. Now I need that on a highlighted. I feel like I keep getting so close and then I press on the wrong tile and yuck it up. What are you doing? I didn't say turn it off, you cock ass of a game.
God damn fuck. I was so close, but the goddamn movement of this game is archaic. Oh, thank God. Yen gen kuno ba molena chiko. Don hai tum kon chen. Ne bobo je mata ne pong nash. Dolpe ki kuna. Eh. Ta kon jo stak miki grabber mogo. Kachicho ita haldonga. Dolpa de bong wa ya gando de nago chocho. Moga Japonkas, bola wana chekne. Pa mulis dimo porana wanga kumbis mule rabes. Ta konjo stak miki grabber mogo. Kachicho ita haldonga. Tolpa de bong wanya gando de nago chocho. Moga Japonka, bola wana chekne. Pa mulis dimo porana wanga kumbis mule rabes. Any information, asshole? Ta konjo stak miki grabber mogo. Kachicho ita haldonga. Tolpa de bong wanya gando de nago chocho. Moga Japonka, bola wana chekne. Pa mulis dimo porana wanga kumbis mule rabes. Kachicho ita hotonga. Yin kin kuno ba bulira chikun. Slimo putona. Wonde hotonga kuonga bi. How can I get there? Tong hai wam chichi yuma lita ad inko tu. Tolpa da bong walia gando de nara chocho. Kachicho ita hotonga. Yuma lita inko tu. Jelo moral beni bobo. Wango kumbis kang ba morera. Ta konjo stak miki grabber mogo. Kachicho ita haldonga. Tolpa de bong wanya gando de nago chocho. Moga japonka, bola wana chekne. Pa mulis limo porana wanga kumbis mule rabes. Rondi haldonga ku honga bi. Wala kumbes, cheng pala muli tong king ba no kong king. Guess we go back upstairs. You old fucker. How dare you delay me? <laughs> They're inactive. No. Oh, hello. For the Anyways. Massive door. Ow. I don't know why you're so fucked up, but what a red hook. To victory! And damnation. Ah!
Last wheel cylinder, baby. Oh. afraid to enter the temple again, but he doesn't know you like I do. Not anymore. Not since you've changed. Quickly. Bestilla, come with us. We have to escape before Malak arrives. Escape? You don't understand. I have sworn allegiance to Lord Malak and the Sith. I am no longer a pawn of the Jedi Council. You say that as if the dark side is some terrible entity. The Jedi Council has brainwashed you like all the others. Like they once did with me. They speak of the dark side as if it is something to be feared, but in reality their only goal is to manipulate those who are strong in the Force. The fear of the dark side is a tool to maintain control. Why do you think the Jedi forbid you and Malak from joining the Mandalorian Wars? They knew you would realize your true potential and break free of their domination. Malak has shown me how the Jedi Council have been using me the same way they once tried to use you. They've been holding me back because they knew one day I would surpass them all. Turn away, idiot. I resisted it first. I endured the Sith torments with the passionless serenity of a true Jedi, emptying my mind. But after a week of endless tortures, I finally saw the truth. Malak forced me to acknowledge my anger and pain. He showed me the liberating power of these emotions. Then he made me see how the Jedi Council has denied me what is mine by right. The Jedi Council gladly used my battle meditation in their wars, but they still treated me like a child, like an inferior. They were jealous of my power, of what I could become. They wanted me to bow and call them master and follow their code and obey their every order. But all the while, they were exploiting my battle meditation for their own use. Don't be lured in, dumbass. You were the one living a lie, Revan. The Jedi Council made you into something you are not. They programmed you to be their slave. You used to be Revan, Master of the Sith. But no longer. You were simply a pawn of the Jedi Council and the Republic they serve. Like I was. Until Malak freed me from their shackles. A pity the power you once had is so diluted in you. You could have been as strong as I am now. Stronger even. But that will never happen now. With the power of the Starforge, Malak will destroy the Republic and conquer the galaxy. And I will be the apprentice Shrug. of his side, after I prove my worth by killing you. No, Bastila, don't go to the dark side, you're too hot. Aha, aha. Anyways, uh... uh. Everyone, use your force powers at once. Yes. The force fights with <laughs> <you>. the Jedi. <laughs> he was stronger than I would have thought possible after what the Jedi Council did to him. Immediate L. Seems that Malik was wrong. The power of the dark side is not lost to you after all, Revan. I draw my power from the rat. Yeah, I fucked up that sentence. You can deny what you are, Revan, but you're only fooling yourself. I know the truth. I have seen the shadows inside your mind, remember? I was there when you nearly died in the trap set by the Jedi Council. I used the Force to preserve your life, Revan. We are forever linked by my actions on that bridge. That's how I know you'll come back. These are not your true feelings, Revan. You're speaking as a tool of the Jedi Council, as I once did. But now I see how the Jedi used us both. The Council tried to exploit the bond between us. They hoped I would draw out your memories to lead them to the Star Forge. We were slaves to their will, like all who followed the Jedi Code. But in our shared visions of the star maps, I also felt the so-called taint within you. I resisted it at first, but now I embrace the power of the dark side. Your dark side. What does the option say? I don't give a shit about the Jedi, I'm just down bad.
Mistakes? No, Revan. The only mistake you are making is the one you are making now. You deny yourself the power that is yours by right. Only now do I realize how strong you are. You deserve to be the true master of the Sith, not Malak. I see this now. Together we can destroy your old apprentice. Join with me and reclaim your lost identity. Your mind was too badly damaged to ever fully restore your memories, Revan. But your power, your strength of will, the essence of who and what you are, <laughs> these things still remain. Once long the ago, true you gray defied the Jedi Council, down bad. freeing yourself from their control. You claimed your rightful title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Together we can defeat Malak and take back what is yours. Bessila, it is not too late for you to be saved. The teachings of the Jedi can lead you from the dark side back into the light and the true understanding of the Force. You are beneath my contempt, Juhani. When you felt the power of the dark side, you fled to a cave like some cowering animal. You know nothing of the Force or its true potential. But you, Revan, the power <laughs> of the dark side Damn. is yours to command. You can use it to destroy Malak. With my help, you could rule over the entire galaxy. No, you dumb bitch. Now convert back to the light side. You were a pathetic fool, Revan. Together we could have defeated Malak and ruled over an empire. But now, I will be at Lord Malak's side instead. You will be crushed with the Republic and all the fools who bow down to the Jedi Council. No one can stand against the power of the Star Forge and the Sith fleet. Lastly, you come back here, you whore. <laughs> oh no, cinematic of her ship taking off. Computer. I'm pretty sure the stream may be fucked. If I had to take a guess on the fact that there was an in-game movie. <laughs> and we know how OBS loves that. Are right, you little fish heads. I've done it. I have destroyed the temple. Never mind. We're, uh, I guess we're just leaving. Did, did I? You know it's gonna be this elusive. Elusive? Me elusive? <laughs> Obviously, you've never tried to grab a Twi'lek dancing girl after drinking too much Ander and Willick juice. At any rate, I already told you why I wanted to leave. I'd seen everything I wanted to on Kashuk. Time to go. Time to move on. To bed. I'm old and tired. You how many kilometer high trees can you find an interest in before you figure you've had enough? I bet you can't be bothered to stay in one room for more than 15 minutes. And there's all the critters of the Shadowlands. So I could. Not having a ship does tend to put a damper on that kind of idea, however. I'll admit, for all its flaws, Kashik was home enough. But when you came along and I saw the destiny you had before you, I couldn't help but be intrigued. Mm. Of course not. 
Weren't you listening last time? I can see that you have a destiny before you, but the details are far from clear. In fact, everything about you that I can see is odd. Slightly off, as if my eye burns. Ah. Your future will come of its own accord, trust me. I wouldn't worry about it too much if I were you. Know me, Sunrider. She came late to the Force, just as you have, and became one of the greatest Jedi ever. Oh, fine, fine lass. Whether you'll follow the same path remains to be seen. For one thing, we'll never get anywhere if you stand around chatting up old men all day. Stop being such a baby. Are you always so quick to turn aside an ally? Got too many of them, do you? One thing I will say is that this little escapade does remind me a bit of my adventuring days before the war. Ah, uh, those were exciting times. Or at least it would remind me of those times if we didn't stand around. Old man has had enough of our shenanigans. He wants us gone. <laughs> Streams being goofy again. Streams being goofy again. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Be me. Rely on my stream audience to tell me if the streams being fucked. Also, me. Harasses them for telling me. I am a god! In theory, it should be fixed. If not, the only thing you're missing is me walking back to the Ebon Hawk. back. Where's Bastila? Is she alive? What happened inside that temple? Alright, you should see all the companions by us, Bastila. The dark side? Bastila? No! No! How could that happen? She was always in danger of being seduced by the dark side, Karth. Bastila was strong. And she was always impatient and headstrong. Malak preyed upon her weakness. This planet is a tainted place. The Star Forge and the Temple have twisted the Force into an instrument of evil, just as Malak has twisted Bastila into a servant of the Sith. Yeah, let's try that. You should see the screen pointing at me with a good old Mando. Here I am, back in the middle with you. I'll actually even go back to watch my own stream. Just so I can get some first eye accounting of what the fuck's going on. Oh, okay, we're back to see me. Good. Malik has a strong hold on Bastila now. It would be difficult for her to break free of his influence, especially considering her long association with you. Remember the bond that was forged between you when she rekindled the spark that was your life. Through that bond, she touched your memories, and also the echo of the dark taint within you. But there's still hope for her, right? I mean, Revan rejected the dark side, so Bastila could too, right? We still might be able to save her. We could try, and we will. I don't know what the fate awaits us, but I sense Bastila still has a role to play in the events to come. I have no doubt she will be waiting for us on the Star Forge. No doubt, but let's go then before she has time to organize a bigger welcoming committee. With these parts, you may be able to repair the Ebon Hawk shenanigan. All right, I will. Look <laughs> yup. Cool. Yo, box. I want to bring him in the box. <laughs> yes, what's on your... If you're ready to talk, then yes. So am I. And? I can't hate you. 
I tried. I wanted to hold you responsible for all the things you've done. For my, for my wife, for Telos, for Dustal. But I can't. <laughs> I got the revenge I always wanted when Saul died. But it hasn't brought me the peace that I thought it would. Despite whatever part of Revan is inside you, the, the darkness that must surely be there, it isn't who you are. That's why I can't hate you, why I don't want any more revenge. You don't have to be Revan. You can be... Whatever's happened up until this point, there's going to come a time very soon where you're going to... Well, then I hope I can save you from yourself. All right, let's go save the waifu. And if your waifu's mission, then uh, straight to jail with you. That's a minor. Cinematic. The Republic fleet must have gotten the message I sent as we were crashing into that planet. I'm picking up a transmission from them now. This is Admiral Fondadana to the Avon Hawk. Do you read us? Admiral Dadana, this is Carthanassi. We're receiving your transmission. Carth, I'm glad to see you are still alive. We've begun our assault on the Star Forge, but we're taking heavy losses. How did the Sith ever manage to build something of this scope? The Star Forge wasn't constructed by the Sith, Admiral. We don't have time for me to fully explain it, but that space station is far older than you can imagine. Maybe we should pull the fleet back and retreat. I don't know if we have the firepower to go up against this alien technology. You can't do that, Admiral. The Star Forge is a factory of immense power. It's been churning out the capital ships, snub fighters, and assault droids that have powered the Sith war effort. You have to destroy the Star Forge now, or you'll be fighting an unending wave of reinforcements. Then I guess we have no choice. But it isn't going to be easy. I can't even get our capital ships into position to start bombarding the Star Forge. The Sith fleet is too well organized. It's like they can guess our every move and counter our every strategy. It's because of Bastila, Admiral. She turned to the dark side and became Malak's apprentice. We suspect she's somewhere on that space station right now, using her battle meditation against you and your fleet. This is Master Vandor. A number of Jedi Knights have joined our fleet under his command. If Bastila is using her power to augment the Sith, then Malak's fleet is invincible. Our only hope is to somehow stop Bastila from using her battle meditation. How can we do that if she's on the space station? I will send a squadron of Jedi Knights to the Star Forge to find Bastila. Their small ships will be able to fly through the Sith blockade and dock on the space station. If they can find Bastila, they may be able to distract her attention from the battle overhead. That should allow you to move your capital ships into position for a final assault on the Star Forge itself. I hate to ask this after all you've done, Karth, but the Jedi may need all the help they can get. Don't worry, Admiral. The Evan Hawk and her crew are gonna see this through to the end. And may the Force be with you. <laughs> hey, Brown Yoda, I got the fucking Desert Eagle. I got this. You just roll down the window of your starfighter and shoot the star forge and it blows up. <laughs> got it. Alright, we got a cinematic of the Ebon Hawk and four Jedi fighters boarding the star base. Or at least making an attempt. Oh, there goes a Jedi. There goes two Jedi. That's <laughs> who Jedi got gunned down. The Sith had the nine. But we have landed on one of the docking platforms of the station. And you know what? <laughs> this is where we'll end this part. Part 10 should in theory be the final part. So, with that in mind, I'd like to thank everyone who came by to stop and watch the stream. And everyone who's been following up to this point. I appreciate all of you, and uh, if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, or you're new to this Twitch channel, consider giving me a follow and a subscribe. Um, I do like to focus on RTS games, and I will be playing the second one of this after I beat this game, because we still have a little bit to go. So uh, yeah, thank you for your time. Have a good one.